a crime scene remains in place in Woolwich today following yet another murder on the streets of London. The victim, who was in his early 20s, died in hospital following a brutal daylight knife attack in Telson Avenue. As police launch London's fifth murder investigation this week, worried neighbours said the situation has them feeling unsafe. One older resident who lives nearby said, I've been here 18 years and you can usually leave your doors open sort of thing. There's no problems but these things keep happening everywhere at the moment. The pensioner said he rarely sees many people in the flats near to where the stabbing happened. I've never known no trouble like this in this little area he added. Will which you get it a bit further down but not here. One Scottish woman, who has lived here for over two decades, was equally shocked. It's so sad she said. It's usually very safe. There's a lot of school children that have arguments and fights but nothing like this. However, one worker at the co-op on Shooters Hill Road, which overlooks Telson Avenue, said trouble was common. It's not that safe here he said. There are so many sharp lifters and I've never found it safe. These sentiments were echoed by a worried father. Everywhere you go it's the same sort of thing. The dad who has lived here for 12 years said. You see a lot of kids smoking weed and walking by your house. I walk through with my partner and child and kids don't move out of your way and they push your missus out of the way. The concerned resident added you see kids fighting all the time. It's just worrying at the moment. I have a nine-year-old boy and we might try and move out but I think everywhere you go it's the same. The victim's next of kin has been informed of the untimely death. He was stabbed in a garage area outdoors and police were called to Telson Avenue just before 2.45 p.m. but the victim died in hospital at 8.55 p.m. No arrests have been made and a post-mortem will take place in due course. Leader of Greenwich Council, Dan Thorpe, wrote on Twitter All my thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of the young man who has lost his life this evening in Greenwich. This mindless, senseless violence has no place in our community and we will continue to do everything we can to eradicate it from our streets.